Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my Logic Pro 11 side chaining techniques course. Now that you are all familiar with how to apply side chain compressor ducking, and you're also familiar with the side chain detection filter in Logic's compressor, let me show you a quick example of when you can use the detection filter to filter out just certain elements of your side chain source so you can apply more precise ducking. So for example, here what I have are two drum loops that are just layered up. I've got a dirty keys loop and then an arpeggiated bass loop. So here's what these all sound like together. Now let's say that we wanted to take the kick drum either from this beat or this beat and have that duck these two other instruments. The problem is that the kick drum is not isolated. All of the elements of the beat are all inside of the loop. Now you could create a separate track with a four on the floor kick and use that as your side chain source, but just mute the track. But if for some reason you need to grab one element or one frequency range and use that as your uh, side chain input, you can do this using the detection filter. So let's say, for example, we want to take the kick from this beat and we want to start by having it duck this synth bass. So I've already got the compressor loaded on here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on. Let's turn off auto gain, turn off the auto release. Let's make sure the makeup gains at zero. Ratio will pull up quite a bit. Threshold somewhere in the middle. Let's use a hard knee, fast attack, and a fast release. And let's go ahead and use peak mode. And then we're going to go up to the side chain input here. We're going to go to audio. And here's that bittersweet beat track. And if I click on listen and mute the bittersweet beat track, You can hear that beat playing through the sidechain input. And right now we're applying a low pass filter. So with this, we could isolate just the sub frequencies, kind of like we did for the bass. But here we're isolating the kick drum in the loop or the energy of the kick drum in the loop. And you can see now we're just getting ducking on those kick hits. Whereas if I turned off the filter, we're going to get ducking on everything, all of the peaks in that loop. So the needle's kind of all over the place. So let's turn the filter on and let's see how this uh, helps duck our synth bass here. And just as a bonus, I sometimes like to add in the soft distortion in the compressor for a little bit more bite. But now you can hear that the kick drum is ducking that bass and the bass loop is not affected by the other elements of the drum loop. Now, if you want, you can certainly try other filter types if you want a different frequency range to trigger the ducking. For example, if you wanted the hi-hat to duck your signal, you could try the high-pass filter or band-pass filter. But for this example, I think I'm just going to copy over this compressor to my keys track and I'll dial in a slightly different compression setting. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you can use the sidechain detection filter to isolate certain elements of a loop and make that element apply 
a ducking effect in Logic's compressor. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.